Hello, this is Dr. Karthik Babu Natarajan, consultant pain physician from the Synapse Pain and Spine Clinic, Chennai, India. We're going to be discussing a little bit about knee pain that is caused by knee osteoarthritis. Now, population in this part of Asia, very common to find knee pain, which is caused by uh, osteoarthritis of the knee. This is very common in the 50, 60, 70 years of age group. Now, why does osteoarthritis of the knee happen? Now, if you see here, you have the bone in the thigh, then you have the bones below the knee, and then you have a bit of cartilage which acts like a cushion between both these bones. Also, you have the kneecap which is in front, the quadriceps which is the muscle in front of the thigh takes the kneecap and attaches below the knee. So, this is normal. Now, what happens is with a little bit of wear and tear which happens during our lifestyle or during our life, the cartilage tend to get worn out a little bit. Once the cartilage gets worn out, the bone comes a little bit closer. There is a bit of inflammation. This is what we call as knee arthritis. Now, what happens is typically these patients tend to start having a bit of knee pain. This pain may be more when you climb down stairs or climb up stairs. Patients will have difficulty in sitting on the floor and getting up. Sometimes they may have difficulty in bending the knee. You may start hearing sounds. Sometimes you feel a bit of friction, which we call as crepitus, when the bone rubs against each other. So this is very common, knee arthritis, which causes knee pain, maybe a bit of swelling, maybe some sounds coming. When this knee arthritis stays for some period of time, it's possible that the knee starts bending either inward or outward because the cartilage can get eroded unevenly and the knee starts bending a bit. So sometimes you find patients who are having a little bit of severe arthritis with a little bit of bowing of the legs. Now per se the knee arthritis is not a dangerous condition but what it happens is these patients have difficulty in moving so this restricts their activity. They are not able to walk because they are not able to walk they tend to gain more weight and so it is a problem because more weight makes it a vicious cycle so because of the weight it puts more strain on the knee and they tend to have more knee pain so it becomes a vicious cycle. Now, how do you treat knee pain? So, conservative management, what we do is, we try to give them basic medication, uh, basic painkillers, maybe we give them some anti-inflammatory medication. Along with the anti-inflammatory medication which we give, basic medicines like paracetamol, tramadol and NSAIDs, we may also give them some supplements, we give them calcium supplements, we give them vitamin D3 supplements if they are deficient, we also give them drugs theoretically which will make the cartilage grow back, collagen peptides, chondroitin sulfate, vitamin C, that group of medicine, chondroitin sulfates, that group of medicine. Now all this will work quite well. So along with that we need to do a reasonable amount of walking and a set of exercises which are called quadriceps strengthening or knee strengthening exercises. Now, a general theory is that a lot of people believe that a patient who has knee arthritis, if they tend to walk, the knee gets uh, worn out some more. That's not true. Patients with knee arthritis scientifically are encouraged to continue walking because any bone will let, get blood circulation only if there is weight bearing. So, it's essential that patients with joint pain do reasonable amount of walking, reasonable amount of activity, as much as it will allow you, even if it means taking a walk inside your compound, in the terrace, that, that may also be acceptable. So, we encourage patients to continue walking. The knee uh, exercises, which is quadriceps strengthening exercises, are taught to the patient. These patients learn the exercises once or twice, do it at home, maybe about 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. So, conservative uh, treatment for knee osteoarthritis includes basic medicines which is anti-inflammatory, supplements which could be calcium, vitamin D3, chondroitin sulfates, collagen peptides, uh, vitamin C, so this group of medicine, along with that exercises. A lot of patients with this will settle down completely and they will be able to walk. 
if you are walking uh, and you are man if you manage to lose a bit of weight it will reduce the strain on the knee and the knee pain becomes better so there are a group of patients who don't respond adequately to conservative management so this group of patients who essentially belong to the grade 2 and 3 which we call grade 2 and 3 you, you when you take a knee x ray you notice that these patients are classified as grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 so the grade 2 grade 3s are good candidates for knee injections now there are lots of types of knee injections olden days they used to put steroid injections into the knee now we know that putting steroid injections into the knee can further damage the cartilage so putting steroid in injections into the knee at this point of time is not considered a good idea there is also a question of lubricants so we call this visco supplements when we inject lubricants into the knee it's supposed to help them it's like putting oil into a engine so it helps them temporarily for a period of 6 months to a year so in a select group of patients the visco supplements which are lubricants help these patients off late there is a newer procedure which is basically a procedure which blocks the nerve supplying the knee now we all know the arthritis once it sets in can be helped can be controlled but we cannot completely reverse the arthritis so that being the case uh what we do is this procedure is something that blocks the nerve that supply the knee the procedure that i'm talking about is called the knee genicular nerve radio frequency ablation so you identify which are the nerves that supply the knee and then do a radio frequency ablation thereby blocking these nerves temporarily now these nerves are peripheral nerves blocking them does not have any other side effect on any other organ in the body so what you basically do is bring these patients to the clinic take them to a procedure room or an operating room under sterile precautions we give local anesthesia and put two or three injections around the knee now the purpose of the injection is identify these nerves and then do a radio frequency ablation so the procedure that i'm talking about is a day care procedure so it takes about half an hour to 45 minutes in any hospital or in the clinic and these patients get local anesthesia so the patient the procedure is comfortable they may also get a bit of sedation so the procedure is over in 45 minutes after that we generally like to observe these patients for one hour and then they go home so the genicular nerve radio frequency ablation the next step to that is something which we call as a cool radio frequency ablation cool radio frequency ablation is a standard procedure which is done in the countries like us and europe it's basically an injection procedure which we do around the knee which will effectively block the nerve supply to the knee and with a good cool radio frequency ablation patients can expect a good relief of pain for anywhere between 1 and 1/2 to 3 years sometimes so when i say this duration after doing the injection once the pain is reduced by about let's say realistically about 70 80% after that we encourage patients to have regular walks take the supplements that will rejuvenate the knee and also do the knee strengthening exercises if you do all this along with the injection the effect of the injection can be prolonged patients who are essentially high grade 3 or grade 4 where the cartilage is completely worn out and patients who have the bone touching on each other with varus or valus where there is the 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 knee is bent so this group of patients the injection may not be the best treatment so in this group of patients the total knee replacement surgery is the best option so patients with severe osteoarthritis total knee replacement is a very effective and safe surgery which we offer to patients um Uh, thousands of patients have already undergone total knee replacement it's a very effective uh, surgery patients can be completely pain free they can go back to walking uh, do the exercises and they settle down now um, we also have a group of patients who are actually advanced osteoarthritis that is patients who are grade 3 high grade 3s and grade 4s who are either high risk for total knee replacement surgery who are unfit for surgery or who are unwilling for surgery so in that group of patients again we offer this genicular nerve radio frequency ablation in this group of patients 
the injection is a safe procedure but the duration of relief may be a bit less than normal patients if at all this patient's pain were to come back after one and a half or two years you have an option of repeating these procedures we also have a group of patients who say whatever happens i don't want surgery we want to get the injection once in two years or once in three years that's perfectly repeatable so basically for knee osteoarthritis i talked about three types of treatment conservative management which includes knee quadriceps strengthening exercises supplements calcium vitamin d3s and regular activity uh, the patients who don't respond adequately con conservative management are good candidates for knee injections so when i said knee injections we basically talk about uh, genicular nerve radio frequency ablations so genicular nerve radio frequency ablations or the cool genicular nerve radio frequency ablation which is an even superior technique is intended to block the nerve supply to the knee this is a day care procedure and the last option when we have severe osteoarthritis is the total knee replacement surgeries so if you compare you have to actually identify which group of patients will get best treatment with which modality and then decide the pain injections seems to be off late becoming very popular for the following reasons one is it's a day care procedure so you can just come get the injection for about the procedure is about half an hour to 45 minutes take rest for one hour and then you can go back you can pretty much go back to your regular work from the next day onwards go back to office in maybe a couple of days you can prolong the effect of these injections with good physical therapy good exercises walking knee strengthening exercises and supplements the earlier concept that these injections were actually steroid injections is wrong now we don't inject steroids anymore majority are radio frequency ablations patients who are high risk for surgery because of uh, uncontrolled diabetes uncontrolled hypertension cardiac issues are good candidates for injections and we also have a group of patients who don't want surgery who are unwilling for surgery in this group of patients also we offer knee injections so knee osteoarthritis is a completely treatable conditions if you provide if you identify the correct uh, doctor and you undergo the treatment we can treat this effectively and you can lead a happy and pain free life thank you